Do you know your medicine? Weed Maps and SC Laboratories bring you an educational series on the science of clean and safe cannabis. Today's cannabinoid profile is on cannabichromine. Cannabichromine, also known as CBC, is the third cannabinoid that is synthesized from CBG in the plant. Less common to find a lot of CBC than, than CBD or THC. And it's been found to have anti-inflammatory properties as well as analgesic, meaning pain-killing properties, although a little bit weaker than uh, THC. It's also been found to have antifungal effects and antibacterial effects. In lab studies with uh, rodents to have anti-tumor effects, meaning it kills cancer cells. And certainly that part of cannabichromine needs to be studied further. And right now there are studies going on looking at cannabinoids in uh, killing cancer cells. CBC is produced in the same chemical pathway as THC. It starts out with chorio pyrophosphate and olive-tolic acid combined to form cannabigerulic acid, which is CBGA. CBGA is the precursor to all CBDA, THCA, and CBCA. What happens is cannabigerulic acid through an enzyme-catalyzed reaction, and what enzymes do is allow these reactions to take place at normal room temperature or body temperature, whatever it may be. And what happens here is the cannabigerulic acid is going to fold over upon itself, and, and this carbon atom is going to attach over here and form CBCA. And what makes it an acid is this carboxylic acid group that's attached to it. Now this carboxylic acid group is not very stable. Over time or very quickly with heat, it'll kick itself off and disappear and, and, and leave, leave us carbon dioxide and you'll have your CBC. Another interesting thing about cannabichromine is it appears to inhibit the uptake of anandamide which prolongs its life in the body prolonging its effects. And we know anandamide has very good effects because it binds at the same receptors that the cannabinoids bind to. Cannabichromine has also been found to have antidepressant properties. Here we have a three-dimensional representation of CBC. Uh, we have the two rings. The black balls represent carbon atoms. The red balls represent oxygen atoms, and the white balls are, are hydrogens that are attached to each. The structure is quite a bit different, as I said, than, than THC or CBD. We don't have that folding in, and, and the ring structure is, is much different. But it's the same amount of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen atoms. It's just rearranged differently. Bonds are placed in different areas. Patients normally don't use CBC to determine their medication. They are really looking more at THC, CBD, and CBN. But we do know that this cannabinoid has many benefits and certainly warrants much more study.